Hello students, we shall now learn about a fuzzy number. Definition To qualify as a fuzzy number, a fuzzy set A on R must possess at least the following three properties. That is, A must be a normal fuzzy set, alpha cut of A must be a closed interval for every alpha element of open interval 0 comma closed interval 1 and the third condition is the support of a that is the strong zero cut of a must be bounded so this is the definition of a fuzzy number so a fuzzy set capital a is said to be a fuzzy number if it satisfies these three properties the first property says that the fuzzy set a must be a normal fuzzy set we have already learned what is a normal fuzzy set so a normal fuzzy set is a set who the in which the height of the membership function will be equal to 1 that is the height of that fuzzy set is equals to 1 so height of the fuzzy set a if it is equal to 1 then the fuzzy set a is said to be a normal fuzzy set now what is this height this height of the fuzzy set is the maximum membership grade of that fuzzy set so we have to consider a fuzzy set and we have to check out for the maximum uh, membership grade and that will be the height of the fuzzy set and if that height is equal to 1 then the fuzzy set A is said to be a normal fuzzy set. So the first condition for a fuzzy set to be a fuzzy number is that it has to be a normal fuzzy set that is the height of the fuzzy set must be equal to 1. Now the second condition here is alpha cut of A must be a closed interval for every alpha where which is an element of 0 comma 1 excluding 0 and including 1 so now what is this alpha cut of a must be a closed interval we have to consider a value of alpha in this interval and we consider the alpha cut set or for that value alpha so that will the alpha cut set will be all those elements with membership grade greater than or equal to alpha now those elements must be in a closed interval so this is the uh, required second condition we can also instead of this we can also say that the fuzzy set a must be a convex fuzzy set must be a convex fuzzy set so um, what is a convex fuzzy set when does a when do we say that a fuzzy set a is convex if all its alpha cuts are convex then we say that the fuzzy set a is convex so we shall understand this better when we deal with an example for this definition next condition required is the support of a that is the strong zero cut of a must be bounded so what is bounded it has to be the zero strong zero cut of a must have an upper bound and a lower bound so uh, so if that if it is so then uh, the fuzzy set a becomes a fuzzy number if it satisfies all three these three conditions and the support of a must be bounded this can also be said as the membership function of the the membership function of the fuzzy set a must be piecewise continuous piecewise continuous so what is this piecewise continuous if we consider an interval and when we are able to break that interval into uh, infinite number of sub intervals then that kind of function is said to be piecewise continuous again we will understand this when we deal with the example uh, we will understand it better okay so for a fuzzy set to be a fuzzy number it has to satisfy these three conditions so now let, let us uh, understand this better with the help of an example so I, I, I will consider an example now so let us consider an universal set capital X whose members are 1 2 3 4 5 
6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So I am considering an universal set. Now let me define a fuzzy set and let me define as all those numbers that are close to 5. So numbers close to 5. So uh, this is the fuzzy set under the universal set X. Now how the elements of A will be? So we have to uh, give membership values. Now if you see 1 is very far from 5. So we can take its membership value to be 0. And the element 2 is little better than 1. And so I am taking its membership grade as 0 0.4. It depends upon uh, the persons who give the membership values but it will not vary to greater extent it will be almost similar so now let me give the membership value for 3 as 0 0.7 because it is more closer than 2 uh, to, to 5 now next let me give 4 as 0 0.9 because 4 is very close to 5 and for 5 definitely the membership grade will be 1 and for the remaining numbers for 6 the membership grade I will give us 0 0.9 because it is uh, as far as 4 from 5 and for 7 let me give us 0 0.7 and for 2 I mean uh, 8 uh, let me give us 0 0.4 and 9 is far from 5 so let me give it as 0 and for 10 obviously it will be 0 only because for 9 itself the membership grade that we have given is 0 and 10 is more far than 9 and so the membership grade for 10 will be 0 here. Now let me check whether the fuzzy set that we have considered is a fuzzy number or not. Now for this fuzzy set to be a fuzzy number it has to satisfy all these three conditions. Now let me check the first condition. So what is the first condition? A must be a normal fuzzy set. The height of that fuzzy set must be equal to 1. Now here we have the membership grades for all the members of the fuzzy set A. And we observe that the height of the membership, the maximum membership grade that we have is 1. Because for the element 5, the membership grade is 1. And this is the maximum membership. And so the height of A is equal to 1. Which implies that A is a normal fuzzy set. So we have uh, the first condition is satisfied. So A is a normal fuzzy set is the first condition that has got satisfied. Now let us check for the second condition. The second condition is alpha cut of A must be a closed interval for every alpha element of 0, 1. Now we can also prove this uh, in a way that A must be a convex set. That is when does we say that A is a convex set? If all the alpha cut set is a convex set, then we say that A is a convex set. So let us prove that now. So uh, whether, we will check whether the fuzzy set, the alpha cut of, of, of the fuzzy set A is convex or not. So for that we have to consider a value for alpha. So let me choose alpha to be equal to some 0 0.4. So alpha is equal to 0 0.4. Now what will be the alpha cut? So that is 0 point cut of the fuzzy set A will be equal to all those elements of the fuzzy set A whose membership function is greater than or equal to 0 0.4. That is by the definition of the alpha cut set. Now if you see here, this here it is 0. So it will not come under the set. But here it is 0 0.4. So the element 2 will be under this set element 3 will also be and then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and if you see the element 9 and 10 will not be an element of the uh, 0, I mean 0 0.4 cut set of A. So these are the elements of the alpha cut set. Okay, now we have to prove that that 0 0.4 cut of A is a closed interval. Okay, so now how to prove that it's a closed interval? If uh, we, we can also prove that 0 0.4 cut of A is convex. So let us check whether it is convex or not. For uh, when do we say that a set is convex? We will take two elements from that set and we will prove that x1 lambda plus 1 minus lambda x2 will also be an element of that 
alpha cut set so if this condition is satisfied then the alpha cut set of a is said to be convex where uh, lambda is an element of closed interval 0 comma 1 so let us check out now let's take two elements from this alpha cut set let me take elements uh, x1 to be 3 and x2 to be 4 element of the alpha cut set so i have taken two elements from the alpha cut set and, and uh, let me take lambda to be some value 0 0.5 i can take so if i take lambda to be equal to 0 0.5 then what will be this expression x1 multiplied with 0 0.5 plus and then 1 minus lambda that is 1 minus 0 0.5 which is again 0 0.5 x2 is 4 and when we simplify this we get this to be equal to 3.5 now this 3.5 lies in the closed interval 2 comma 8 so because uh, 3.5 lies between 3 and 4 so this is an element of the alpha cut set which implies that the alpha cut set is convex and also we can say that uh, from this we can say that the fuzzy set is convex and we have also proved that the all alpha cut of a must be a closed interval so it is a closed interval isn't it because we got a value 3.5 which lies this 3.5 is an element of the closed interval 2 comma 8 it lies into the interval value because uh, uh, here it lies in between 3 and 4 and therefore it it lies in the closed interval so the second condition also is satisfied is satisfied here now let us check for the third condition if the third condition is also satisfied then the fuzzy set turns out to be a fuzzy number now let us check out the third condition the third condition is we have to prove that the support of the fuzzy set A is bounded. So that is the strong zero cut of A must be bounded. Now first let us find what is this strong zero cut of A. So all those elements whose membership grades are strictly greater than zero will come under this set. If you check out for the definitions uh, from, from the previous lectures, you will understand it better. So, let me write this 0 plus set of A. So, if we check with the fuzzy set, all those elements whose membership grade is strictly greater than 0 is this, this, this and this and here this, and this and 8. It, these two, these three sets will not be included into this set. So let us write that now. So we have strong 0 cut of A to be equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So if you see the values are bounded between 2 and 8. So therefore uh, the support of A is bounded. We can uh, the, so all the three conditions are satisfied. So if we check here, all the three conditions are satisfied, and so therefore the given fuzzy set is a fuzzy number. We can also understand this with the help of uh, a graph. So let me just show you show you the graph of of these which satisfies these three conditions. So now here I have drawn the fuzzy graph where the universal set is taken along the x-axis and the membership grades are taken along the y-axis. Now here I have plotted the points and I have drawn the graph that is for uh, the for the uh, value 1 okay the membership grade was 0 so I have plotted the point here then for 2 the membership grade was 0 0.4 for 3 the membership grade is 0 0.7 for 4 it is 0 0.9 for 5 it is 1 for 6 it is 0 0.9 for 7 it is 0 0.7 and for 8 the membership grade is 0 0.4 and for 9 it is 0 and 10 it is 0 and then I have plotted the graph now if we check in this graph what is the height of the graph or well, the height is the peak of the graph so that is 1 so we observed that the height h of a 
of the fuzzy set is equal to 1 which implies that A is a normal fuzzy set and that is the first condition for a fuzzy set to be a fuzzy number. Now after that the second condition is con uh, the convexity. So that is if we consider two points in this fuzzy set and if we join those two points then this line segment lie uh, all the points in this line segment lies within the uh, within the graph so then the fuzzy set is said to be a co uh, a convex fuzzy set so this is the concept of convexity so whenever we choose uh, two points uh, uh, within a set if uh, and if we join those two points with a line segment and, we, and if all the points on that line segment lie on the same set then the uh, set is said to be a convex set so uh, it is the same here also so we have first proved it is a no it is a normal fuzzy set and then we have also proved that it is convex now we have to prove that it is uh, the it is bounded that is the support of a is bounded now what is support of a the strong alpha cut of a so all those uh, whose membership grades are strictly greater than zero so if we check like that it it's it is here so and then here so if we see it is between two bounds lower bound is two upper bound is eight and so therefore the it is the fuzzy set a is I mean the strong uh, zero cut of the fuzzy set A is bounded and so all the three conditions are satisfied hence the example that we have chosen is a fuzzy number. Hope you have understood the concept of fuzzy number. In our future videos we will learn more theorems on fuzzy numbers. Thank you.